Good morning, everybody. I'm here in Laval, Quebec, just outside Montreal. To unload my freight I brought here from Winnipeg. There's my crane. I'm all unstrapped, ready for them to start lifting it off. There it goes. Just got that one last crate at the back now. All right, now that we're empty, just like we suspected, we're gonna have a reload in Valcourt, Quebec, which is two hours from here. It's like 150 kilometers or like 100 miles. Uh, so I'm gonna go to uh, an Irving Big Stop, which is one of the nice truck stops out east here. We don't have them in the west because they don't like us as much. <laughs> but Irving is really big in eastern Canada. It's really nice, like the best truck stops, I'm, I'm gonna say, the best. So we're gonna go there, grab some fuel. It's the cheapest fuel in Quebec. I just wanna have full tanks ready for tomorrow. It's actually not too bad, $1.47, which is about the same price as Northern Ontario where I'm gonna be going through. Those are the prices on my fuel cards after our discounts and whatnot. So $1.47 per liter, uh, which is still like $5 a gallon, just so you know, for my American friends. You actually wanna know how much that is? Okay, so I'm gonna be paying $1.47 Canadian per liter. I'll do all the conversions for you because I'm feeling feisty. Uh, so you times that by 3.785, that's 5.56 Canadian a gallon, US gallon. Now we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna go 5.56 CAD to USD. Four dollars and two cents. I already told them. So about four dollars a gallon is what we're paying in Quebec. And uh, <laughs> it's the cheapest fuel out here. Everything else is around three cents more per liter. Uh, we're gonna go there, fill up our tanks, we're gonna grab a shower there right away because I have all day. My loading appointment in Valcourt is tomorrow at 9 a.m. and it's 10 a.m. now, today. So I have 23 hours to drive 100 miles. So we're gonna stop on the way, like I said, clean myself up, get myself a little more presentable again. And then we'll uh, head to Valcourt, sleep around there, and go we'll grab our stuff in the morning. And that load that I'm picking up there is going to Alberta near Edmonton, a uh, little west of Edmonton, but up in that area there. It's gonna be about a 4,000 kilometer trip. That is about 2,500 miles. I think I'm gonna pull it all the way through. I'm gonna stop at home on the way to reset my log books and say hi to the family. Play with the play with the dogs a little bit, have some fun, and then continue on to Alberta and deliver that next week. They wanted their Monday or Tuesday, I believe. I'm gonna try to get it their Monday, but we'll see how the roads are on the way back. I'll know more once I'm loaded and rolling. But yeah, so I got my coffee here. I got my trailer unloaded and empty. Let's go get our shower. It's about an hour from here. Uh, it's in uh, saint Lavoir, Quebec. Irving Big Stop. Exit 145 on Auto Road. Uh, is that 20 going down there? Auto Road 20. Now I gotta, thank goodness for technology. Eh? Can you imagine like trucking in my dad's day or like my grandparents' day? Like not like having to stop at pay phones, not having Google Maps. It's crazy. 
Uh, Auto Road Trans Canada, oh, what is that? 116? That's not even Auto Road, it's just Trans Canada 116. No, is that one? No! Auto Road 20! Where did I get 116 from? Okay, exit 145, Auto Road 20. That's where we're going. It's time to get rolling. Get out of Montreal. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna want to go out that way. Turn right. Oh man, they got cones all over here. What is going on? I want to go onto that road in front of us and turn right. So I want to go out this driveway in front of me. They got all these cones here. Not a problem. Looked tighter than it was. So I gotta make this right turn once traffic starts moving. Should be fun. Waiting on a red light to my right over there. Oh, traffic is backed up. What is going on? We'll see how bad the traffic is here on the auto road. Probably not good. It is Montreal. Meters. Take the entrance to the left on Auto Route 2 now with a 440. Cross your fingers. Hope for good traffic. Good traffic is no traffic if you're wondering. I'm pretty sure they're gonna ask me for money. 
Montreal, what's with you guys asking for money to drive on your own? I already pay fuel taxes. Well, there's no toll here yet. Nice bridge though, eh? Look at this. So I think we're crossing from Laval into Montreal. If my geography is right, I have no idea. I'm not from here. People will correct me in the comment sections if I'm wrong. Well, over this, this is the St. Lawrence, right? No, this is one of the rivers that connects to the St. Lawrence. I don't know. St. Lawrence is like a, like a massive river that has a huge place in our history as Canadians. That's where Canada began, along the St. Lawrence, right? Well, the main part, I mean like Toronto and Ontario and Quebec. A lot of history on that river. Long before I was born, yeah, there's a sign right there. It says Montreal. Okay, we are in Mount Royal. Now what? I'm pretty sure they're gonna ask me for money. I mean, that's what all the signs. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's what the signs are saying. I don't usually take this route, so. I thought the toll was on the other side of the city, but they might have tacked one on here as well. We're gonna find out. Oh, well. If you look at this, standstill traffic. What's going on now? Ah, oh, wonderful. I don't know if you can see it, but all the way over the bridge over there, that other bridge that's coming onto the highway there too, it's all standstill traffic. Moving forward by about maybe 100 feet every minute. Just move forward, then stop. Move forward, then stop. Maybe not every minute, every about three minutes. So, so we are moving, but just slower than a snail's pace. And I'm looking like on the map up ahead. I know we're coming up to that tunnel and I try to avoid the tunnel but I figured this time it can't be that bad right it's way shorter for me to go this way than go way around on the toll road again right but apparently it would have been way around but way faster learning lessons I don't know why that right lane is all the way open. I'm guessing people that go by on the right are cutting in front of the line at the front, making this line move even slower. I don't know. What a mess. I've been in this for two hours now, and we've moved one mile. This is the fastest we've been moving in an hour and 45 minutes. All those trucks on the right need to get into this left lane because there's a tunnel coming up ahead. We need to be in the left lane for the tunnel, apparently. So I'm thinking that's what's slowing everything down as they move all the way from the right over to the left as they're merging in with this traffic. This is just nuts. I haven't seen traffic this bad in a very long time. Come to Montreal, avoid the tunnel. I already knew that, but I had to learn it for myself once again. So, learn from me, don't do this mistake yourself. Avoid this tunnel at all costs. This construction is insane. Two hours, one mile. We're not even at the tunnel yet. We're still a little ways away from the tunnel, actually. Uh, moving like 10 feet at a time. Apparently it's leg day, but just for my left leg on my clutch. What is this guy doing? What is he doing? He's getting really close to me there. 
can see a signal from him. Why? He doesn't need to be in this lane. He can be in that lane. That lane goes through the tunnel too, I think. I have no idea. I just want to get out of here. I should already be in Valcourt. I should be showered and in Valcor already. <laughs> I'm still in Montreal. Montreal, then I stopped, 
fueled up, I had a shower, I cleaned myself up. Now look at this, it's evening time already, I'm not even there yet. So the timing did work out perfect. I mean, at least I had all day, right? So I'm not wasting any time. It actually worked out kind of perfect. sign was all about. I thought it said there was a toll ahead. There's no toll. There better not be a toll after all that construction. Can you imagine? I was thinking this whole time. I was stuck in that traffic in that mile stretch for two hours. I was thinking this whole time or the whole time I was in there that there better not be a toll at the end of this. Can you imagine if Montreal charged you a toll to sit on the highway for two hours in traffic in construction? I could see if they put a toll on it after, I guess. I mean, Montreal likes their tolls from what I heard, but... Yeah, there was no toll, so... That's some good news. My little uh, portable trucker oven type thing. So I've got some potato salad with deviled egg there. And in here I've got uh, uh, chicken noodle soup, chicken broth with rice. 
uh, mixed vegetables that I, that I added in there. And uh, I'll see how it tastes when it comes out. If I need a little bit of zip to it, I'll add some sweet and sour sauce. Get a nice little, mm, nice little stew. I'm getting very hungry. <laughs> trying to make as much food in the truck as I can. The one thing I allow myself to buy out is coffee. <coughs> Excuse me, coffee. I don't know what it is. I know, I get comments every day. Why don't you just make coffee in your truck? I used to, I've been doing this 13 years. I've tried many times. I've had the instant coffee. I've had the coffee pot in here. I've had the coffee thermos. I've tried all the different ways there is to make coffee myself in the truck. And it's just, I don't like it. I don't like it when I make it in the truck. I don't mind coffee at home, but it's still not the same as just buying it out. Like buying it either at Tim Hortons, at Starbucks, at uh, Caribou Coffee, at Dunkin's, uh, McDonald's has great coffee. For some reason, when someone else makes me the coffee, it just tastes a thousand times better. And a coffee is an important part of the day. It helps me enjoy the day, so it's gotta be good. I don't wanna waste it on my attempts. Uh, that's not good, but so that's why I, I buy a coffee every day. So I spend maybe like what? Under $5 a day on coffees. So probably whittle that, whittle that down a little bit too. Maybe $2.50. It depends. Some places coffee is expensive. Tim Hortons. I bought a small coffee at Tim Hortons. It's like this big. It was $1.85. I remember when coffees like this size were like 50 cents. And I'm not that old. I'm really not that old. Everything is so expensive now. But uh, that's I, I eat in the truck and I go shopping when I get home. Or uh, if I have to, I do some grocery shopping at Walmart or something while I'm on the road or some other grocery store and just get a few things in here. A couple of things that I like to have in my truck at all times is rice, lots of water. Uh, what else? Canned vegetables, uh, oatmeal, granola bars, uh, fruit cups, like sealed uh, fruit cups. Uh, what else? What else do I got in here? Some canned soup, bread, uh, jam, peanut butter, some sandwich meat, cheese for my sandwich. Sorry, I realized as I stood up, I'm very blue now. Sit back down here. Okay. <laughs> but. Yeah, that's, I'm trying, I'm trying to do better. And it, something's been working. Cause like I said, last time I weighed myself, I lost four, uh, 24 pounds. Uh, so I'm hoping that when I get home on the weekend again, I'll be down another one. I might even be at 200 when I get home. And that was my goal to stay below that. So I still got a ways to go to go down to between 170, 180, somewhere in there. But uh, we have been making progress and that is in part to just eating better. Just making sure I put better things in my stomach and not as many donuts, not as much sugar, and just smaller portions, just eating less. I used to eat out, like before I started, like really buckling down and trying to lose weight. I, I would usually eat out about one meal per day and I'd eat in the truck the rest of the time. So I, I was trying to save money then as well because eating out every meal is so expensive. Even one meal per day, I was spending, <coughs> spending at least $30 a day so I've got that down to under $5 a day that I'm spending on the road. So it's, it adds up. And believe me, at the end of the month, you definitely see the difference in your bank account. So, I mean, if your health isn't a motivator for you, maybe money is. Save that money. I mean, I could be doing all kinds of different things to save more money. I'm not I'm not a Dave Ramsey. I, I don't like listening to the Dave Ramsey talk and everything because, I mean, he has a... Dave Ramsey, I could talk a whole different vlog about him. I, I think he's a great guy, he's helped a lot of people. But I think he also has unrealistic views of how people can survive. Things are so expensive now, and not everybody makes as much money as he does. He's a multi-multi-millionaire. It's very hard for him to relate to the people at the bottom just scraping by, hoping to have money for their electric bill, trying to get by trying to get and he's telling them oh you can't have any debt you can't you got to do this with your money and that with your money and a lot of people look at that and be like but how right so i mean i'm not a dave ramsey guy 
but I know a lot of you probably are. And uh, I'm, if he's helped you out, that's awesome. I have my own plans for uh, debt management and money management. As long as we all got a plan, right? Don't go through life without a financial plan. That's my advice to you guys. Always have a plan because life can get crazy very quick. Anyways, I don't want to get into all that financial stuff in my vlog. This is not a financial channel and uh, I don't want to give you guys any financial advice and I'm not looking for any either. So I'll leave it right here. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Tomorrow we're going to load up our trailer. My appointment's at 9 a.m. Eastern time. As soon as I'm loaded, I'm going to tie it down and head back west. I'm going to try to get home for a reset uh, for at least a day or two to reset my logs on the way to Alberta. It's going to be a 4,000 kilometer trip, like a 2,500 mile trip. So don't forget to subscribe and tag along. Leave me a comment down below. And if you want to go one step further supporting me, you can join now and become a member. Click the button down below and you can get early access to all my videos that way. It's like the price of a cup of coffee. But the best way to support the channel, and it's free, is subscribing and leaving a comment. I will see you right here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.